Hi guys, today we will study the digestive system. Let's go. Nature is filled with living and non-living things. Living things include plants, animals, and humans. But non-living things as rock, air, water, and soil. Okay. Now we will know the difference between living things and non-living things. The characteristics of living organisms is all living organisms are similar in some characteristics, such as nutrition, motion, respiration, sensation, reproduction, excretion. Again, nutrition, motion, respiration, sensation, reproduction, excretion. What is the meaning of nutrition? Nutrition meaning we the organism can food can eat food <coughs> motion <coughs> mean the organism can move motion means the moving respiration means the breathing sensation it means the organism plant human and the animal can feel okay feel reproduction it means the plant and animal and human can product new individuals who look like us who look like Excretion means the body of human or plant or animal can get rid of wastes. Okay. Now we will study the structure of human body. Human body consists of systems. Okay. Human body consists of systems all these systems are working together all the system working together to keep the human alive that means any system can't work with the, with um, can't work uh, without it, can't work without it, the helping of uh, another systems. So, all the systems working together to keep the human alive. Now, we will study the systems of human body. There are six systems. One, number one, digestive system. Number two, respiratory system. Number three, circulatory system. Number four, urinary system. Number five, nervous system. Number six, reproductive system. Again, digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, urinary system, nervous system, reproductive system. Digestive system responsible of di digestive and absorbs food. Okay, digestive system help us to absorb this and digestive and absorb this food. Respiratory system help us carries the process of breathing or, or respiration. 
circulatory system distributes the digested food and oxygen all over the body cell. Circulatory system responsible of distributes the digested food and oxygen all over the body cell. Urinary system responsible of helps the body to get rid of wastes. Urinary system helps the body to get rid of wastes. Nervous system gives give us the ability to feel, see, hear, smell, and taste. Nervous system gives us the ability to feel, see, hear, smell, and taste. Reproductive system produces new individuals who look like us. Reproductive system produces new individuals who look like us. Now we will start the digestive system. Digestive system who the system which is responsible of digests and absorbs food. How how the digestive system helps us to digest and absorb food? So it helps us digest and absorb food through the digestion process. Digestion process. What is the meaning of digestion process? Digestion process it's the change of food from a complex form into a simple substance to let the body get benefited. Again, digestion process the change of food from a complex form into a simple substance to let the body get benefited. Now we will know the structure of the digestive system. The digestive system have two parts. Number one digestive canal, number two digestive canal supplementaries. Okay, digestive system have two parts. Digestive canal and digestive canal supplementaries. Number one, digestive canal consists of six organs. Okay, six parts. The part called organ. Okay, so digestive canal consists of six organs. Number one, mouth. Number two, pharynx. Number two, three, esophagus. Number four, stomach. Number five, small intestine. Number six, large intestine. Okay. Again, the digestive canal consists of mouth, pharynx. Esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Okay. The part two, digestive canal supplementaries, have three organs. Have three organs. Number one, number one, salivary glandes, salivary glandes. Number two, liver. Number three, pancreas. Again, digestive canal supplementaries consists of number one, salivary glandes, number two, liver, liver, number three, pancreas. Let's beginning with digestive canal. Digestive canal, it's a long tube with length of nine. To 10 meters okay it's a long canal or tube 
with length of 9 to 10 meters. It starts with the mouth and ends with anus. It starts with the mouth and ends with an anus. Anus. Consists of six organs. Okay, mouth, francus, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. Now we talk about the first organ, its mouth. Mouth consists of three parts teeth, tongue, salivary glands. And we we can we can um, define the mouth as a cavity cavity where teeth and tongue exist and the salivary gland is open in it. Mouth it's a cavity cavity where teeth and tongue exist and the salivary gland is open in it. Teeth, <clears throat> we can talk about teeth. <clears throat> the number of teeth in an adult is 32. The number of teeth in an adult is 32. Each, each girl has 16 teeth divided into four incisors, two canines, and ten molars. Incisors for cutting food. Canines, canines for tearing food. Molars for grinding food. To is it swallowing? Okay. For grinding food to ease its swallowing. Let's go to tongue. Tongue, it's a muscular organ. Mus muscular organ. It mixes the food with saliva to help swallowing. It mixes the food with saliva to help swallowing. It moves food inside the mouth cavity. It moves the food inside the mouth cavity. It's responsible for tasting food. It's the function of tongue. The function of tongue makes the food with saliva to help swallowing. Number two, moves the food inside the mouth cavity. Number three, responsible of tasting food. Okay, the function of tongue. Three, makes the food with saliva, moves the food inside the mouth, tasting food. Now we talk about salivary glands. Salivary glands, there are three pairs of salivary glands which secrete. Saliva to the guest starch into sugar. There are three pairs, three pairs of salivary glands. Secrete saliva, secrete saliva to digest starch into sugar. Saliva called digestive enzymes. Okay, saliva called the digestive enzymes.